Fresh Mud Larking here with Nicole and Craig. Today the tides aren't in our favour, but there's the bottle dump and we haven't been here since summer last year. So, deep foot and dump, what does it have to offer? There's been lots of digging going around, let's see what we can find. There's a hole there. We've only just arrived at a hole and Nicole's pointing at other holes, but I think before we go over that one, what I could say is, maybe we should take a wee look around here and uh, see if there's if there's anything worth uh, spending a wee bit of time looking at. What do you reckon? Absolutely, there's been so much digging going on here. There's got to be at least one treasure to find. There, uh, yes, indeed, there must be. I mean, even just having a quick scan around here, the now, you can see there's lots of wee bottles, uh, lots of shards of stuff, and, and even a pair of gloves. You can <laughs> see uh, what the diggers left behind. <laughs> What's that though? Oh, this here. That's look. a really odd. Oh, careful. Oh. A wee bit muddy today. Oh, it's a oh. milk jug. It is. Look, maybe if I put it in the sun, you can see it's got like a, a like an edel mice on it. So one of the things that we've learned about this camera is it doesn't like the sun. So <laughs> <laughs> you'd think that a wee bit of light would be helpful. Can we move that back into the shade? Yeah. And I'll come in a wee bit closer and uh, take a wee look at that. Oops, Daisy. So you can see there. I uh, hope. I hope you can see the flower shape now quite pretty. Yeah. Now, there's a wee jar up there. I don't think we're collecting anything like that anymore. No. And some bottles, some of them are broken, some of them are whole. I think we should start by just having a wee survey of some of these bottles that are just left up here on the side. We can see that the bottle diggers haven't wanted them, but there's a fair few wee treats here. So, what do you think? Maybe start here and have a wee look? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Let's go. Lots of shards, lots of broken bits today. Okay. Um, yeah, which isn't so promising, but you know, we don't need to look very far before we can see some, some big bottles there. So yeah, I mean, you gotta be careful as well because like bottles like this, it looks like they're cracked. See if you see it for the side. Oh yeah. That looks like it's cracked, but it's not, it's just full of water. Oh, <laughs> that might actually be frozen because it's oh, so cold today. <laughs> yeah, it's a frosty morning today. <laughs> now that, is there anything on that? Maybe it looks kind of like, oh, I don't know what Oh yeah, it's oh, scrubs, yeah. it's scrubs fluid. Um, I think that might have been um, ammonia or a kind of cleaning fluid. We now we've seen before. this before here mm -hmm. as well. Now we're not really collecting a lot of bottles at the minute, so we're just looking for a couple of wee, maybe we're looking for tiny treasures, maybe, I don't know, we'll see what we find. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what would be nice though, I found some cod marbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Nicole's got a hankering nice. for cod marbles now oh. folks. Yeah, I absolutely do want to find a cod marble, or, or a clay marble, or a bead, but at the moment we're just looking at this lovely wee bottle there. Now, I thought it might have had a little lip there, like the uh, opium bottles, um, but it doesn't. This is just plain, so I think we're just gonna leave that one here. Yeah, well, it's covered in cracks as well. <laughs> so we don't want that. We don't want a cracked old bottle. Um, there's a wee pity as well, though. Aww. A wee jam jar there, but it's got a, a huge dunt out of the side of it. <laughs> now, what was that? Is there a bottleneck in there? Just in there? It's not a pipe, is it? No, it's oh, a bottle. It's, it's, it's a whole bottle. A whole bottle. Oh, I think that's that's a slightly blue. Looks like it might be good old sauce that we found before. So like a brown sauce bottle. Um, moving on. What's this? Oh, there's a teapot. Oh, yeah, and we're not at the teapot. Tip, no, it's metal. Okay. Now there's a few more sort of whole bottles here. Obviously, that's quite an interesting shape. There's sort of like kind of bevels on the side of that, but I don't think there's any markings. There's no label there, so I'm not no. entirely sure what that is. Just plain, but really long neck, right? Yeah. Now we utility bottle there, another wee smashed mm. bottle. You know, hopefully we're going to find something a wee bit luckier than this <laughs> as we look along. That I reckon was had mango chutney in it at some point, mm -hmm. and I that think. is a nice wee jar, or I don't know if you would call that a bottle. Ah. Oops. Oh, which one there? I don't know. It looks a bit like a like a head or something. Um, Let's see. You think that's a head? Oh. Yeah. 
It's quite weird, isn't it? It kind of looks like it's got a face. Yeah, it does. Uh, it's kind of terracotta-y, so I thought maybe it's like uh, one of these uh, terracotta dolls or frozen charlots. It's a bit big for that. I think it's a horse. <laughs> I think it's been a horse's head. Maybe from the Godfather. Ah, maybe. Uh, the, the clay version of the Godfather. <laughs> They're a pair of shoes. I know you, you kind of like shoes. I'll tell you mm. something. They would have been very pretty wee boots. Oh, they are very pretty. Back in the day. Right? Look at the wee toe okay. cap there as well. Yeah. So you got the wee uh, leather toe cap, they would have been nice. Yeah, oh look, these are, these are different. different. Yeah. yeah, they're different. Just goes to show you folks, if you see two shoes mm -hmm. in a dump, they're not necessarily a pair. <laughs> oh, do you know what that is? Oh, is that an old rolling pin? It looks like it to oh, me. Oh, isn't that tempting? Do you know, there's a funny thing about it though, because this surface is flat. Ah, so it is, yeah. So I don't think it's a rolling pin. Because it's squared, you can see maybe that's squared, that's squared. All right. So, in the comments, please, folks, what could that be? Yeah. If it's not a rolling pin, maybe it had something around it at some point. If you turn it back, mm -hmm. you can see there's holes here. Yeah. Where something was fitted. So I wonder if okay. it had uh, some kind of surface on it. Yeah, maybe it's more like a kind of engine part where it had like wheels here and it was some stuck to something. I'm not sure. <laughs> From the Flintstones, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. old wooden engines of the Flintstones era. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, don't you think, remember those? <laughs> I don't think the dump's that old. Uh, anywho, we've got more of these wee bottles uh, up here. Mm -hmm. And nothing nothing dramatically interesting at the moment. Mm -hmm. A nice wee teacup, but there's no markings on it that I can see. Oh yeah, it's an egg cup, it's not a tea cup, I'll tell you. Yeah. You would be disappointed if you got your tea in that, wouldn't you? It's a thimble full of tea, yeah. No, there's nothing on it, just a little golden line. Now we've got another wee range of bottles in here and maybe there's more promise in these bottles. Oh. Now I've seen there's some, uh, there's a lot of broken gunky stuff down here and that, that'd be a teacup <laughs> yeah. or maybe a mug. <laughs> I'm likely to call things like that egg cups soon. So we've got a wee pile of bottles in there. Uh -huh. What do you reckon of this? There's something quite interesting and bright red at the back end there. Yeah. Um, but we'll get to that in due course. Mm -hmm. uh, before we do though, what do you make of these wee bottles? Yeah, they do look like they're utility bottles. They both, they also have this very long neck. So yeah. yeah, I wonder what was in these. Looks like another sauce bottle. Yeah, it even says good old back house. Um, so that was the uh, Yorkshire relish. Uh, another bottle here. No markings on this one. Straightforward utility bottle. Um, let's move closer to that red thing there. Yeah. Now, what do you reckon that bottle was? Oh. Now, that has um, a top there that looks like it had a volcanite stopper in it at some point. It does, yeah. Um, but, I don't know, maybe if you could maybe rotate that wee bottle and we'll get a look and see what the label says, because I think there's some embossed markings on there. Oh, do you know, that's a really weird shape. It's kind of squashed, no? Oh, yeah. It might, it might have been in the fire. There, there's some, there are some markings here on the top. Difficult to see in the light, though. And with the, with the rust, ah, that's helpful. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's James Dunbar. Right. Uh, James Dunbar, Edinburgh, uh, Albion Road, and uh, different uh, different area. They they've moved. So yeah, this is uh, from uh, from Edinburgh. Juice bottle probably. Uh, broken volcanite stopper in the top. Not taking that. Ah, uh, that's a shame. <laughs> that's a shame. It's always nice to find the volcanite stoppers yeah. when uh, yeah when they're whole. Now, there's that uh, red thing that we've uh, ah. spotted. Do you know what? There's another shoe. You're standing on a shoe. Oh. Nicole stood on a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen shoes uh, preserved from the from the Thames. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they are obviously a little bit older than the Victorian shoes we find here. Yeah. But you can preserve them. <laughs> now, why would you want to preserve shoes? I can see why you'd want to preserve lemons. They're quite tasty and stuff like that. And, you know, <laughs> like kimchi, there's a preserve that I enjoy. Huh. But uh, shoes, not so much. Mm. Now, what do you make of that? Oh, that looks like a lovely vase, doesn't it? Oops. You think so? Yeah. Um, well, how could it be a vase? Do you think the, uh, is the bottom snapped off, do you think? Yeah, well, they were, they were massively elaborated vases, or elaborate vases in uh, Victorian times with lots of little twirly bits and twisty bits. And uh, if we can <laughs> find a picture, we can insert it here they are like uh I, I don't know out of this world elaborately and swirling so i'm looking for a picture of a vase that's got swirly bits and <laughs> stuff like that yeah now 
I don't know, what do you reckon? Is it worth hanging around here for very much longer? There's a lot of broken stuff. Yeah. There's also an awful lot of um, utility bottles and the kind of thing that, you know, we used to go daft for. We were mad daft about the, the utility bottles back in the day. Oh, what's this? Oh, Nicole's just found some. Oh, it's no, it's giant. just a wee tiny... Uh, I know, it's such a shame, isn't it? Because that's one of these wee pretty ones. Yeah. I'm so tempted because I have one that is just a little bit tinier than this, but it also has a bit missing. So maybe you know if you put it on the shelf, it is. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> equal, equally poor quality. Um, oh, you shame. I don't know. Well, let, I'll tell you what, we'll go into that other hole then yeah. and let's see if we can find a nice, uh, better example than the one that you've just picked up there. Okay, let's do that. Did Craig forget to mention that we've got a monthly giveaway on coffee? All you need to do is click the link in the description, get to our coffee shop and buy us a wee coffee and you're in, in it to win it really. Well sadly there wasn't an awful lot in that hole, um, but there's quite a lot of a uh, hole here. <laughs> so what we're going to do is take a wee look on this side of it and see if we can find anything else that's a wee bit more, uh, a wee bit more enticing for us. You know, sadly at the moment, everything seems to be broken. Even these wee ink wells. And we used to find a ton of these wee ink wells here. And we used to find a lot of pipes as well. So I'm hoping uh, that we're going to find nice wee treaty things like that. Now, there's two things right in front of me. Aha! <laughs> you know what they are, right? Yeah, it's a bit of a, a doll head yeah. right here. No markings on it. No. Hard to see what it's. Uh, That's what, an oh, eyebrow. Yeah, there's I an, can eyebrow. See an eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's the top of a head, and then there is a bit of a, a pipe stem right next to that one. Yeah. Anything on the pipe stem? Ooh, it's really short. Mm. Yeah, I think maybe maybe there was. It's a wee bit further up the stem, though. Yeah, yeah. It's a, a little bit broken. I am looking for pipe balls, though. Right. And, okay. Uh, so, you know, for this year's advent calendar <laughs> yeah we're a wee bit early we have to be on top of these things early folks uh you know if we want to find enough pipe balls to fill up the advent calendars we've got to get started early on in the year uh, <laughs> long before the summer months um oh well there's a couple of wee things there again lots of utility bottles bunch of broken stuff um but something interesting there that you've seen us uh, talk about a number of times on the channel Ah, it's a writing slate. It's a tiny piece of it and there's also um, well, a stylo with it or, I don't know, a, a carbon rod of some, some description. You can call it a pencil if you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've actually got a few of these things and I thought about putting up uh, sets on our Etsy shop with like a, um, a slate and a pen and maybe an inkwell. I don't know. Does anybody want any of those things? <laughs> well, It'll be, it'll be more more than that if they do appear, but keep your eyes peeled out on the Etsy shop then. Uh, we might be doing a, something like that. Now, you know, I saw that and I thought, uh, pipe. But it's not. You can see what it is, right? Spout. I'm a little teapot. La, 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 la. There's yeah. your ear one for the day, folks. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be people humming. I'm a uh -huh. little teapot for the rest of the afternoon. Yeah. Okay. So that's broken off here. And sometimes we just find sort of this bit here um, at the beach in uh, Kakodi. And that served as one of our mystery objects at one point. It did. Yeah. So let's see. Maybe we can find something of intrigue here as well. And we'll find a wee, uh, another wee question. What is this mystery object? <laughs> if you're into the mystery object things, the coals do a bunch of shorts on them, so check out the shorts. I reckon it's about time we left this hole and got onto that other one that you spotted. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. And I know it's sort of right behind me. You can't see it yet, but I know it's there. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we'll find that. There's another shame, a wee shame to see such a thing. Now, Again, fragments, there's another wee bit, the pipe, pipe stem there. Not enough on it to make very much of it. So, I think what I'll do, 
Oh, that's a shame as well. There's the bottom, the bottom. <laughs> it's a bottle with a missing bottom. But you can see how thick the glass is there as well. These are hefty, hefty, sturdy bottles. Now, I'm going to get back along, see if I can find the coal, and uh, maybe warn her that this is not the hole we're looking for. So we can see that that was a poison bottle. You can see, not too. There's not much more of it, but I know Nicole was collecting wee bits like that. So I think that'll take. I'll take that one along for her. And there is the first pipe bowl of the day. Now, the question is, is that a sign of promise, or is it the only one left here? Let's see. Oh, it's just all chipped as well, but. It's got an interesting wee design on that, so we're going to take a closer look and see what that is. And I think it's maybe worth um, coming over here for a wee look. There's a few things over there, and there's a very interesting object just there. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> oh, do you know what it is? It's a broken shovel. Somebody brought a cheap shovel to the bottle dump, and it's broken. Right, I'm going to grab this, and we've got a long catch up with Nicole. So we've moved on then and we're in a different hole now. I kind of beat you to it a wee bit uh -huh. and I found two things that might be of interest. So we said we were looking for these pipe bowls. There's a pipe bowl, it's in bad nick though. Oh. But it looks like it's got a unique design on it. Maybe you can have a wee look and see what that is. Um, the other thing that I've given you there is a little bit of a poison bottle. Now I know that you were collecting poison bottles that had that wording on it. Yeah, I had, um, well, I am still collecting these uh, poison bottle pieces. I thought I might be able to cut out uh, some parts of it, but I've tried and they just chatter because they're very, very fragile. Maybe you can grind them. Mm, maybe. I, I'll, I'll try that. This one has a couple of nicks in it already, so that's probably going to shut up, but I still like it. But you know, you found a really cool pipe bowl. Oh, very you cool. You see, that, that's a face. On the side, that's the ear. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I hope you can see that on camera. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get in too close because we can't really focus in on this. Uh, so we might need to take a wee picture of that. But I hope you can see that. Yeah, and there's, I think, a flag on the other side. Right, my yeah. guess is that's uh -huh. a Union Jack. Yeah. And uh, uh, that is... Uh, um, an, an embossed version of the former king. Mm, it what might be. Yeah, yeah, it might be. Yeah, we'll have a look in it. But I'm, I'm definitely going to take that. I like pipe bowls with faces. <laughs> okay, let's have it. And let's have a wee look and see what else we can find. So I just took a very, very, very quick look round here. And this is where I found the uh, um, the pipe bowl there. Now, as Nicole said, that's a quite interesting looking pipe bowl. It's partial, but nonetheless, um, it's got a face on it. So, let's see, maybe we'll find some more interesting pipe bowls, I don't know. Oh. Now, <laughs> I think that's hilarious. <laughs> Somebody came along, and I, I'm guessing that that wasn't uh, the most expensive shovel that they could have brought with them. Mm. And so it's just broke. Sounds expensive, Kenton Stowe. Kenton Stowe, anybody know Kenton Stowe? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> there are we, teapot. Oh, um, yeah. Anything else of interest here? Well, there's a couple of uh, um, sauce bottles, small utility bottles. Sadly, this one's broken. Uh, I do like this kind of shape though, you know, you can just imagine this sitting on a shelf somewhere, uh, in a pharmacy maybe. And a uh, yeah, apocryphy. And uh, yeah, well, sadly, it's quite uh, damaged, so yeah. we have to leave what it. What does it here. Be say? A, a little compromise. A little bit. Just yes. a little bit compromised. <laughs> now, what's this mm -hmm. one here? That one's quite interesting. It looks to me that it's very thick on that side, just where your finger went over there. You yeah. see this rib on that side? It's very, very thick. It is, yeah. Do you know, actually, it reminds me of that piece that we found at the beach the other day. And I said it might be a sauce bottle, and we both said, oh, it's really, really thick, though. And it very much looked like this bottle. Maybe we'll stand that up so oh, yeah. we can get a good look at that. Mm -hmm. now, is there anything on? No, it's not. It looked no. like there was an embossed mark on there. There isn't, but it's the glass here on these ribs. Yeah. It's really, really thick. Yeah. I mean, that would have taken a good knock. Yeah, and you know, it also means that there was very little in that bottle, right? Despite yeah. the size. <laughs> yeah. You know, they just don't make them like they used to, do they? <laughs> Just yeah. check it, the kick up on that. Oh, super let's huge. See. Yeah, yeah. If there's a, the other part of the kick up on the other side. Oh, it is. Look, that always gets me at the beach. Uh, it looks like a, a marble when it's broken out. Yes. 
There, yeah, I think you can see that Oops. in there now. Oh, there we go. So, it. there we go, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so that in there looks like a half marble. And when all this breaks off and we find that at the beach, it's such a disappointing wee thing to find. <laughs> yeah, they're very cool, but it's not a marble. <laughs> no. Now, you can probably see it's getting a wee bit dark. That's because we've got some clouds coming in. And we're taking a wee wander. Uh, <laughs> across this spoil heap because it's always worthwhile and why is that because there's always lots of little things there now i'm kind of holding out for a small thing like a bead or so because uh, when you had the spoil heap it's been raining and the beads kind of just gleam look see like that pink piece there yeah do you know what i just seen in front of that pink piece this mm -hmm. is a beautiful piece of glass um but sadly it's not the kind of thing that we can uh we can do very much with no. do you reckon that's a pot or a chimney Oh, hard well, to see, isn't it? Kind of looks like a big plant pot, but yeah. yeah. I guess it could be a chimney. Now, there's the other thing that I'd spotted as well. It's another colourful piece. Oh. Um, this piece of blue glass. Obviously, the, the bottom oh, of, a, of a poison bottle. Of a poison bottle, yeah. And the sun coming back. Ha ha ha. It's so nice because it's only just above freezing, so with the sun, it doesn't feel quite as cold. Feels lovely in the mm -hmm. sun, actually. Yeah. You know, it's actually quite warm. <laughs> Uh, despite the fact that it's probably about three degrees. Now there's an interesting wee thing just in front of me there. It's a bulbous thing. It is, it's bulbous. <laughs> um, I think every time I think of bulbous, I, I think of Captain Beefheart and I can't remember the context for it. So excuse me if somebody does know the context and I've, uh, I've just uh, spoken about something unpleasant. Mm. That is what Nicole just saw. It is uh, a bulbous. Yeah. Um, but then that's what I saw just as it was coming up. And do you know what? Mm. I think we've got another instance of creepy. Oh, it's creepy lip. Oh, <laughs> it's lip. no creepy teeth. It's creepy lip. <laughs> creepy lip. Uh -huh. You see the wee lip there, wee chin. Yeah, yeah. Do you know if we collect enough pieces of this? Pieces. Do you know if we collect enough pieces of uh, these dolls' heads, we could probably Frankenstein <laughs> a really weird looking head together mm. out of the bits. I should try that because I've actually collected about a shoe box full of those pieces that are all broken. Do we want partial. to take that then? Yeah, okay, let's do Okay, that. let's have uh, what we could do is Frankenstein's <laughs> yeah. doll. Now, what about that bulbous piece there? Do we want to have a look at that or are we just going to leave that where no, it is? I'm going to leave it because it's really difficult to get. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that difficult. But we could have a look at that piece, yeah. This is, this is what Nicole's scared yeah. of, is this wee tree. <laughs> uh, anyway, now, I, think, I think that's quite uninteresting. To me, that is uh, it's just a broken uh, oh, figurine, isn't it? Leg. Yeah, there's a leg? Yeah, it literally is just... <laughs> really just a leg um, uh -huh. and for that reason alone I am out <laughs> I'm not, not interested in it at all yeah, right yeah. you know what we have come to the end of this hole oh. and all we can see now is uh, is grass yeah and a couple of stray beer bottles that were left here nobody loves these bottles why I don't know why I don't know why yeah. well I think that's actually going to be a really, really cool project. Frankenstein a doll head out of lots of doll head pieces. I've probably got enough to make one head at least. And I also think that clay pipe bowl that Craig's found is really interesting. We just have to find out who that king is. Is it Edward? Is it some, some other king? Um, I don't know. remains for me to say thank you so much for watching liking and commenting if you haven't subscribed yet please take a minute to subscribe there's a link right down in that corner totally free and it really helps us an extra special thanks goes out to everybody who's been supporting the channel through your coffee donations and through etsy that makes a massive difference and it keeps the lights on see you next week mm -hmm.